Reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. Hey everybody, it's Carrie with MMO Reporter and I'm here with Ben Cosmina, who's a producer of the game Warlock of Firetop Mountain. He's with Tin Man Games and he's going to tell us about his game. Sure. So tell us about it. So, Warlock of Firetop Mountain is basically an interactive story which is stylized to look like a tabletop RPG. Um, it is based on a uh, series of books from the 1980s in the UK um, called Fighting Fantasy. Okay. Yeah, um, okay. and this was the first book in the series. Uh, it was originally designed to be an introduction for how to play Dungeons and Dragons, which goes to show how, how old this game is. Oh, yeah, is. yeah. Yeah. So, um, we, we've taken that original book and expanded upon it. It's about three times the original size of the book. Okay. Um, and you've got, uh, unlike the original book where you could just play as one character, you now play as 12 different characters. And um, each character's got their own different story um, storyline al alongside the major uh, story. All right, so when I was playing it, I noticed I had a lot of choices. So the replayability of this game is pretty high? Yes, that's correct. So we, that, that's one thing we found with uh, the choose your own adventure sort of thing, is that uh, once you play through the first time, you don't really have a reason to go back. So we added these additional characters, which had um, certain, certain parts lock off, certain parts open up. Characters react to you in different ways based on which character you've chosen. That sounds pretty cool. So about how many hours could somebody expect to get through in a like a first run playthrough? Yeah. So if you're if you're really good, um, I'd say for a, uh, one character it'd take about two hours or so. But again, it's like multiple characters, so they encourages people to go through more than once. And there's different paths to take and more to see depending on which character you pick. Right. And I noticed it looks like minis, like D and D minis yeah. laid out on a grid. Yeah, that's right. That's just harking back to that. Um, uh, the D and D aesthetic, yeah, was right. and, and you see that the dungeon builds as it as you play through it. Yeah, I like that a lot. You yeah. go, you open a door, and the dungeon appears. I was wondering, so those are set set things. It's not like a random thing. It's yeah. like those those are all all preset environments. There is one area which is um, procedurally generated. Um, it's the maze of Zagor. Original in the original book, it was um, notorious for being the bit that everyone really didn't like. like so okay. we we um, just decided if we could make it even more devious so it formulates differently every time you play. Oh, that sounds like awful. So um, <laughs> so you said this is the first of a book, so do you plan to do more of the books? Yes, we'd love to do more of them. Um, the writers, uh, Ian Livingstone and Steve Jackson, have done a whole series of these. Um, and so we'd love, the next one, if, uh, if, we, if this does well, which it seems to be doing well, um, we'd like to bring Death Trap Dungeon as okay. the next one in the series. Okay. All right. yeah. and, um, so where can people find this game? So it's available on Steam and Humble at the moment for PC and Mac. Okay. Linux is coming in in the next couple of weeks. All right. And uh, if all goes well, we're looking to bring it to iOS around uh, January. Okay, and I'm an Android person, so how long for Android? Fingers crossed Android as well. I'm not okay, sure at this stage. perfect. So um, can you, would you like to share the price point with us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's available on Steam for US $20. Okay, perfect. All right. So anything else you want to tell us about your game? Um, I, I think that's, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Okay, all right, thank you so much. Right. Thanks guys, it was a lot of fun, you should check it out. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.